my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much! Hello students! Happy learning! Our learning objectives at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first, determine the radius and height of a cylinder. Next, find the volume of a cylinder and solve real life problems involving the volumes of cylinders. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the Matatar Curriculum for Mathematics Parter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start. So ngayon, so i-activate natin yung inyong prior knowledge. So we have to name the cylindrical shapes used in daily life na atin po nakikita. I'll give you 5 seconds. Ready? Papangalanan po natin. Go. Check the name for the first picture is correct. Pen holder. Next, that is wood logs. Next, the third is soda can. Next, we have the gas cylinder. And for the last one is drum. Tama ba yung sagot? Okay, perfect. You got it. Perfect. Great job. So, ngayon, we have to discuss the cylinder. So, ano ba yung ating cylinder? And also, what is the definition of a volume? We have to unlock the vocabulary terms. So, with that, I'll give you five seconds to define. Ready? Okay, let's check your answer. When we say cylinder, ibig sabihin po nito, ito po ay three-dimensional figure having parallel circular basis. Pag sinabing parallel, di ba? So, this is uh, two or more lines that never intersect and same distance apart. And also, the basis of a cylinder are circles and its height forms a right angle with the basis. Ito po yung ating halimbawa and the parts of a cylinder. So, ano ba yung mga definition ng mga parts ng cylinder? So, ibig sabihin po, class, when we say the circular faces are the bases, yung pabilog, di ba? So, ibig sabihin nito, meron tayong dalawang circular faces, yun yung bases opposite. So, and the space or length between these bases is called the height, yung height natin, yung taas ng cylinder. And also, take note, the radius of a circle is a line segment from its center to any point on the circle. Ibig sabihin nito, yung radius mo, yun yung kalahati ng diameter. Okay? So, remember, diameter is the longest chord. And also, to get the diameter idodoblehin mo yung radius mo or times 2. Para makomal naman yung radius given ang diameter, i-divide mo ng 2. Tandaan po natin yon So ngayon, i-define natin what is volume. Very good. Pag salaming volume is simply the amount of space taken up or occupied by an object. Ibig sabihin nito, it measures how much space an object occupies. Gaano ba kadami yung kayang i-occupy no given container natin. Yun yung capacity. So, with that, let's have the finding the volume of a cylinder. Yun po yung pag-uusapan natin today or yung lesson natin na i-discuss. Ibig sabihin nito, class, formula for finding the volume of a cylinder. As you can see, the radius, height, and the basis. Paano ba nagkaroon ng formula? Okay, so i-derive natin. So, volume of a cylinder. Remember, the area of a base times the height. Paano ba or saan ba nang galing yan? Ano yung relationship ng circle dyan? Mamay malalaman natin. So remember, volume of cylinder is simply area ng base. It times mo lang doon sa height niya. And of course, the area of the base is equal to the area of the circle because the surface is the circle. Okay? Circular basis, di ba, yung ating circle shape. It times mo lang yung area ng circle sa height mo. And remember, area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. I-multiply mo yung area ng circle na pi r squared dun sa height. And that is now the volume or formula to find the volume of a cylinder. In general, class, the formula is simply volume ng cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. And take note, where pi, yung pi mo dyan, approximate value is 3.14. That is irrational, kaya nga naka-approximate value lang siya. So with that, let's work the example. So find the volume of cylinder with the radius measuring 2 meters and height 4 meters. Ito po yung ating given cylinder. Nakalabel na po yung radius niya na 2 meters at height na 4 meters. All we have to do is complete the table. Para ma-determine natin yung mga parts, like for example, the radius, the height, the volume, yung unit, importante yun. So what is the unit in the given problem? That is correct, meters. 
Next, what is the approximate value of phi? Remember, 3.14. And the radius is simply 2 meters. And the height is 4 meters. So ngayon, nawawala or hahanapin natin si volume. Paano ba mahanap yung volume? Okay, so remember, the solution is simply write the formula first. Kailangan ma-recall po natin yung formula. Volume ng cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. Since meron na tayong mga given data sa table mo, isubstitute mo lang yung pi mo na 3.14 dun sa given. And yung radius mo, i-square mo siya. Kaya nga that is 2 meters square. Ibig sabihin ng square, i-multiply mo yung radius sa sarili niya. Times height mo na 4 meters. So ngayon, i-copy mo lang muna yung 3.14. Step by step solution tayo. Ha? Square mo yung 2 meters, kaya nga 2 meters times 2 meters, 4 square meters yon. Then, i-copy mo lang muna yung 4 meters. Tsaka mo i-multiply yung 3.14, tsaka yung 4 meters square, that is 12.56 square meters. Tapos, i-copy mo lang din sa 4 meters para mas sundan natin step by step. Tsaka mo i-multiply ngayon yung 12.56 square meters times 4 meters, that is equal to 50.24 cubic, cubic kasi 3 exponent. Cubic meters. So, yan na po yung ating sagot doon sa hinahanap na volume ng cylinders natin. Therefore, the volume of the cylinder is 50.24 cubic meters. Next, let's have work example number 2. The diameter of a can sardines is 5 cm and the height is 8.5 cm. So, what is the volume of the tin can? Okay, label ulit natin, di ba? So, as you can see, meron tayong sardines and any brand, no? So, ito yung ating given, yung radius, tsaka yung height mo. So, complete the table. What is the given unit in the problem? That is correct, centimeter. Yung pi mo, that is 3.14. And the radius is, okay, take note, ha? Walang radius na given sa problem, pero mahahanap natin. How are you going to find the radius given yung diameter? Sabi doon, the radius of a circle is just half of its diameter. Pag sabi half kalahati ng diameter, yun yung radius mo. Kaya nga, i-divide natin yung 5 cm divided by 2, that is equal to 2.5 cm. Yan na po yung ating radius na ilalagay sa table mo. And the height is simply 8.5 cm, as is nasa problem natin. And the volume is hahanapin natin. Okay, remember the solution to find the volume is simply write the formula. Kailangan ma-master natin or ma-recall natin. Volume ng cylinder is equal to pi r square times height. I-substitute na natin yung mga given sa table mo. Kaya nga, yung pi natin, 3.40, times yung radius mo, square mo yung 2.5 cm and multiply mo by height na 8.5 cm. Tsaka mo ngayon, I-copy mo lang muna yung 3.14. Remember, step by step. Tsaka may square yung 2.5. Pag sila may square, i-multiply mo yung 2.5 sa sarili niya. Kaya 2.5 times 2.5 equals to 6.25 square centimeter. I-copy mo lang muna yung 8.5 cm. Tsaka mo i-multiply dyan yung 3.14. Tsaka 6.25 square centimeter. That is 19.625 square centimeter. And i-copy mo lang si 8.5 cm. And then, from that, i-multiply mo na yun. Kaya nga, that is equal to 166.8125 cubic centimeter. Kung mapapansin nyo, di ba, before I have the final answer, hindi ako nag-round up. Mag-round up lang po kayo kapag nasa dulo na para hindi mag-iba yung volume mo sa dulo. Kaya nga, approximate, pag ni-round up ko to sa nearest hundreds or two decimal places, that is equal to... 166.81 cubic centimeter. Yan na po yung ating volume na cylindrical sardines. Okay, so therefore, the volume of the canned sardines is 166.81 cubic centimeter. Now, let's have number two. Number three. So, complete the table. What is the height of a cylinder whose radius is 5 decimeter and has a volume of 471 cubic decimeter? So, nawawala yung height natin. Remember, so find the unit. The unit given is decimeter or dm. Pi is 3.14. The radius is, okay, as is nasa given, like 5 decimeter. Yung height po ang nawawala. So, ano ba yung volume mo? Okay, kailangan ma-identify natin or ma-determine. 471 cubic decimeter. To find the height, okay, so remember the solution would be write thus. Formula. Ano ba yung formula ng volume ng cylinder is equal to pi r square height. Then, i-substitute mo na ngayon yung volume ng cylinder mo, which is 471 cubic decimeter. Equals doon sa 
copy mo lang din yung 3.14, yun yung pi mo, times, square mo yung radius mo na 5 decimeter. I-multiply mo by height. Yung height kasi dyan, h lang, kasi nawawala siya. Next mong gagawin, i-copy mo lang yung 3.14, tapos square mo yung 5 decimeter. Kaya nga, 5 decimeter times 5 decimeter is 25 square decimeter. Tapos i-copy mo lang yung height, kasi yun yung hinahanap, kaya nandiyan siya lagi. Tapos i-bring down mo lang yung 471 cubic decimeter. Tsaka mo i-multiply yung 3.14, tsaka... 25 square decimeter that is equal to 78.5 square decimeter. I-copy mo lang yung h mo or yung height kasi yun ang hinahanap. And i-bring down mo yung 471 cubic decimeter. From that, so para mahanap natin yung height, solution, i-copy ko lang muna para hindi tayo malito. Para mahanap mo yung height mo, you have to divide both sides of the equation by the number na katabi ng height mo para matanggal natin or makancel. Kaya nga, 78.5 square decimeter divided by 78.5 decimeter square. Ganon din sa kabila. Kasi nga, equation dapat balance eh. Whatever you divide on the left side, same number dapat doon sa left and right. Okay, kaya cancel natin. Therefore, matitira na lang dyan yung height mo kasi yun ang hinahanap. Tapos pag dinified ko, 471 Divided by 78.5, that is equal to 6. E paano yan may unit natin? Paano i-divide yun? Yung cubic decimeter mo, divided by square decimeter, parang tandaan mo lang, no? Ima-minus mo siya. Kung meron tayong 3, tapos minus 2, 1 yon. 1, ibig sabihin nito, matitira na lang isang dm na lang yon. Kasi tatlong dm, tapos dalawang dm, pag sinubtract mo yung exponent niya, kaya dm na lang or simply 1. Kaya nga, that is 6 decimeter is equal to h mo. Or pwedeng balik na rin natin. That is height is equal to 6 decimeter. Yan na po yung ating nawawalang height dun sa cylinder natin. Or sa problem. So therefore, the height of the cylinder is 6 decimeter. For the last problem, we have what is the radius of a cylinder whose height is 4 feet and volume of 50.24 cubic feet. Okay, remember complete the table para ma-master natin, ma-identify or ma-determine natin yung mga parts na kailangan sa formula. So, unit natin is feet. Pahin natin, remember, approximate value is 3.14. Constant yan ha, kaya nandiyan lagi. Radius natin is unknown. Yun yung hahanapin natin. Ano ba yung height mo? 4 feet. And the volume is 50.24 cubic feet. Nasa, nasa given problem yan. Okay, remember, write the solution. So, kailangan ma-recall natin yung volume ng cylinder is equal to pi r square times height. Tsaka may substitute yung volume mo na 50.24 cubic feet. Is equal to, copy mo lang din yung 3.14 sa pi mo, and yung radius mo nawawala, kaya isulat mo lang din yung r square. Times height, ano ba yung height sa problem? Substitute mo siya, 4 feet. Tsaka mo, i-multiply yung 3.14 times 4 feet, that is equal to... Ayan, bringing down ko lang muna si 50.24 cubic feet. Pag minultiply ko yung 3.14 times 4 feet is equal to 12.56 feet. Tapos i-copy ko lang din yung R square, yun yung radius na hinahanap natin. Remember, just like what we have did on example number 3. So, tsaka mo ngayon, i-divide on both sides of the equation. Kasi nga, hinahanap mo yung R square, yung radius, para matira yan, tanggalin mo yung number na katabi, i-divide ko sa by 12.56 on both sides of the equation. Then you can cancel. And then, matitira na lang dyan yung R square. Yun yung radius na hinahanap natin. And what is 50.24 divided by 12.56? Ilan yon Equals to 4. Or remember, law of exponent actually, quotient rule to. Kung meron kang tatlong feet, tapos kung meron kang 1 feet or 1 foot, no? Pag sinubtract mo yung 3 minus 1, 2 na lang yon Ibig sabihin, dalawang feet na lang. Kaya nga, isulat mo, square feet. Kaya nga, that is now the next solution from that. So remember, last previous lesson, di ba? Diniscuss natin on getting the square root of a number. Okay? So, kukunin natin yung positive square root of 4. Ibig sabihin nito, that is equal to 2. Okay? Square root ng ng Feet square, okay, that is feet na lang or foot. Okay, and square root ng r square, that is r. Ibig sabihin nito class, yan na po yung ating radius. Pwedeng balik ta rin, radius is equal to 2 feet. So, yan na po yung ating 
radius na hinahanap doon po sa problem. So therefore, the radius of the cylinder is 2 feet. So with that, you are going to answer question number one. Ready? Timer starts now. Use the formula. Okay, so pag hinanap natin yung volume, given yung radius at height mo, isubstitute mo lang sa formula. Kaya the answer is very good, letter A. So that is 141.3 cubic decimeter. Ready for number 2. Use the formula. Okay, let's check your answer. The answer is letter C. 5 feet. Remember, ang inahanap dyan yung radius. Pag sinubstitute ko lang yung volume, tsaka yung ating height, so just like what we have did on the given example a pre uh, while ago. Okay, let's have number 3. Use the formula. Ready? Okay, so your answer is correct. Very good. That is letter B. 12 inches. Paano na po nakuha yan? Remember, ang inahanap dyan yung height. Okay, so substitute mo lang sa formula yung volume tsaka yung iyong radius. Okay, so the answer is 12 inches. Okay, for that, you are going to answer the assignment, complete the table on each number by solving the problems involving the volumes of a cylinder. So copy and answer ah, with solution on one whole sheet of paper. So you have to complete, katulad ng ginawa natin sa example, para ma-master ninyo. Okay, ready? Happy. Okay, so with that, I hope you learned something. Bye-bye and keep safe, everyone.